lot of people complain about companies these days, right? The, the most recent one is the whole Gillette thing. They did the, the toxic masculinity ad and it pissed everybody off. But people complain about like Facebook. Oh, Facebook is censoring comments. Twitter's censoring comments. This company, that company is doing this. This bakery doesn't want to make this cake. Here's the thing. At least here in the United States, we have a free market, eh, pseudo free, capitalistic system, all right? If you don't like what a company's doing, you have the power, and that's a good thing. Now, what a lot of people are doing is complaining about companies and then asking the government to do something about it. This bakery doesn't want to make this cake. You should make them make that cake. Facebook won't post my uh, political views or censors my political views or whatever. You should make them post my political views. You're going about it the wrong way. If you ask the government to intervene in private companies, you're giving up your power. We have the power. That's how this country's government was set up so that the people had as much power as possible. But little by little, since the beginning, we've been slowly giving that power back to the government and I don't know why. Here's how we have the power, all right? If you don't like what Facebook is doing, stop using Facebook. If enough people also stop, because it's a free market, either Facebook will have to change or they will go out of business. But if you're gonna sit there and still log on to Facebook every day and just complain about it and hope that the government steps in and forces them, you're not gonna like the outcome, man. I, I, you think, oh, well, that'll be great because then it'll, everything will be fair. No, what you're doing, every time we give or ask the government for a little bit of help here or there with a law or a rule or a regulation or a new tax, we're giving away more of our power. Yes, it's harder our way. It's harder to do it just by using the free market to force a company to change or go out of business, but it's the better way. It's the same thing with Gillette. Everybody's complaining about Gillette, so stop using Gillette, man. Let's put Gillette ahead of business. You know what I mean? This company was dumb enough to, this company who primarily sells products to men was dumb enough to make a commercial disparaging men, all right? Unfairly too, like toxic masculinity, come on, man. Get your head out of your ass. <laughs> so just let's let's put them out of business all right if there's a bakery that doesn't want to make a gay pride parade uh, uh, cake or doesn't want to make a swastika cake or something don't go to that bakery if enough people share your view and also don't go to that bakery it'll go out of business but here's the thing here's the thing if not enough people care they get to stay in business and unfortunately you just have to deal with the fact that you don't like the outcome you don't get to go uh, crying to Uncle Sam to, to Big Brother and ask them to make it all better for you. That's not how this country is supposed to work. And if we give away all our power, we have a friggin' mess. We're gonna have a mess on our hands, man. We have a bloated, overreaching government as it is. If we start giving them more power, more legislative power, more tax power, don't even get me started on the executive order thing. We have a big problem. Use the tools that were given to you by our founding fathers. Use the free market, all right? Now listen, I don't like what Facebook does. I don't. I don't like, honestly, I don't like what YouTube does either, but I don't dislike them more than I want to keep using their service. Gillette though, not buying any more Gillette products. Uh, there are other companies I won't buy. Uh, I can't think of any, of course, now that I need an example, but. We, the people, have all the power in this relationship. We just need to use it. This idea goes for politicians as well. When it comes to politicians, we the people have all the power and we seem to forget that, all right? A politician in the United States is a politician because they were elected by us. So if they don't do what we want them to do, we can put them out of business. We vote them out. It's actually easier to put a politician out of business than it is to put Gillette out of business because there's a forum for that. It's called the friggin' election! God damn it! You know what I mean? It's, it's mind-boggling to me how so many people, I mean, 
there is a logical chain in our government. We, the people, elect Congress people. Those Congress people make the laws. They set the taxes. If they make laws and taxes you don't like, vote them the fuck out of office. Vote them out. Why not? That's how it works. That's how, <laughs> literally, literally. And I know what people think. Well, it's not gonna make a difference if I get out and vote because not everybody else is going to. It's not gonna make a difference if I stop using Facebook, nobody else is going to. If everybody thinks like that, then yes, no. It, we're never gonna get anywhere because nobody's gonna get off their ass, all right? Same thing would have been true about this country. If George Washington was like, oh, I'm not gonna start a revolution because nobody else is gonna want to. Paul Revere, Thomas Jefferson, they're like, ah, oh, we're not gonna go. Yeah, I'm not getting out of the pub to start a revolution because nobody else is gonna want to. Thank God, <laughs> thank God, right? Vote the politicians out who don't do what you want. Put the companies out of business who are not offering a product and a message that you like. We have all the power. Let's use it. Let's organize and mobilize and inform. That's the most important thing. Inform each other. In this age of unlimited information, sometimes I fear we actually know less. Because we don't have to work for information, we don't work for information. So whatever news, information, knowledge is just readily available and kind of falls into our lap is often all of the news or information or knowledge that we bother to pursue. And as a result, we miss out. We don't have to work to find out what's going on in the news. We don't have to work to find out what's going on in politics anymore. Because you find it accidentally, you know what I mean? You sign on to your email and there's a thing on the side and you know, there's, you're on Instagram and everybody's got memes about whatever's going on. You don't have to work to get that information. Whereas before, if you didn't open a newspaper or turn on the news, you didn't really know what was going on, you know? And as a result, now nobody does open the paper, turn on the news, go to a news site and actually find out what's going on. Research what's going on in your state. All right, research what kind of controversies, what kind of political debates, what kind of taxes are being proposed in your own state. Get to know what's going on in the area where you live. Be educated, and once you are educated, I guarantee, I guarantee a fire will be lit inside of you about some issue. Not everybody has the same things that, they're care, that they care about, but something will grab you, and that'll be your cause. Personally, I hate taxes, and I hate limiting of personal freedoms. I do not care what you do. Please leave me and my money the frig alone. That's what I care about. Now, there are other things that go on all the time that I just don't really care about. I don't. Eh. You know what? Honestly, it doesn't even bother me all that much that Facebook censors non-liberal, uh, allegedly. Whatever. Not censors, but you know what I mean. You know? People talk about that all the time. Oh, well, if you're not a you know, far lefter, you can't get your, your algorithms are against you, this, that, and the third. Whatever, man. I don't know. Whatever. I don't care because I know that. They're a private company. If I had a private company, you better believe that company would be reflecting my views. Kind of, you know, like Hobby Lobby and Chick-fil-A, they are very set in their views. They are not mainstream views, per se, depending on where you live, I guess. But they go for it. They're committed. They said, nope, this is important to us. We are going to live these values, and I respect that. That's really all Facebook is doing, you know. But here's the thing. If enough people don't agree with those values, that company doesn't get to stay in business. So that's how it should be, you know? It's huge with politicians. So get out there and just educate yourself a little bit. And then once you've educated yourself, they say nothing worth having is free. Go and get some not free knowledge. Go and pursue some information about what's going on in the world around you. Don't just rely on what falls into your lap when you sign on to do other things on the internet. Pursue some knowledge, find a cause, get yourself fired up, and, and educate some other people around you. I do everything I can, the issues that are important to me, to tell the people around me. They call it really annoying. They tell me I get worked up about dumb stuff. Why do you like getting so angry about stuff you can't change? 
because hopefully I can change it if I tell enough of you idiots about it, you know? People don't understand that. I hope you go get fired up. I hope you find a cause. I hope you get out and vote, and I hope you think about what companies you're giving your money to. We have all the power. Use it.